pretty much unevolved uh, from this, from the state of, uh, of how they are now for at least a couple of hundred thousand years. Which is pretty remarkable, really. It's just there, I don't know if you could hear it. It's just a nice, lovely, peaceful African scene. Someone's caught their attention. What have you seen? That's a lovely shot, Jason. Feisty with their uh, with their sparring antics. These guys seem to be moving slightly into thickets. We'll move forward just a little bit because there is a bit of clearing just to our left. It might give us a bit of a better angle so you guys can see. You guys will see the, uh, the dark stripes that run down the uh, tail of the Apala uh, and also down the side of the, uh, well, back of the legs. Uh, there's, a, there's a few different theories about why. Oh, the, the, uh, there's a few different um, theories about why these, uh, these stripes are actually there. Uh, one such theory is that obviously dark colours attract heat more than, uh, more than light colours. So this is... Um, uh, a good area that the uh, for the ticks to actually congregate, um, and it makes it a lot easier for the impala to actually collect the ticks off them if they're all in one in one place. And with the flicking of the tail as well, I mean that could uh, also indicate that it's. Uh, So the dominant, uh, the dominant ram in the uh, in the herd is uh, telling a few of the younger ones off there, chasing them around. That was a lovely piece of uh, behaviour.
goes to it. Cool. Nice bit of uh, antelope interaction there. First thing in the morning, that was quite nice. Now I'm just checking the ground to see if there's um, been any tracks or anything of interest that's been through the area recently. There's um, a few different animals that have been through here, doing some buffalo. There's uh, been uh, a few different various antelope like Nyala uh, and Impala as well. Obviously we can see there's been Impala. There's obviously been some zebra, as we've seen. I've a question from Jane in Smithfield in Canada asking uh, whereabouts in Canada uh, I, uh, I, I came from and where I was born and how long I spent there. Um, well, Jane, I was born in, uh, in Toronto. Um, and strangely enough, uh, I used to live in a district of Toronto called York, which is quite a coincidence in as eventually, um, during my, t well, it was later teenage years, uh, I moved to York. So it's a bit of a funny coincidence, a coincidence that really. But, um, Used to, uh, well, spent probably till about I was about six, maybe seven years old in Toronto. Um, I'm sure that the place has changed a hell of a heck of a amount uh, since I've been there. Um, but one day, yeah, I would uh, definitely like to go back, see how much has changed, go and see a Blue Jays game, uh, maybe even go and see a Maple Leaf game as well, if, depending on the season. But yeah, it'd be, it'd be very interesting to go back and see it. But uh, maybe next year, we'll see. We'll see. But, uh, yeah, thank you for uh, a question that brings back some happy memories. Thank you, Jane. Okay, just had a question from Patty in New York asking if it's true that ele uh, elephants, pardon me, uh, if uh, dung beetles have, uh, have right of way. Um, yes, in a way they do. Um, we try not to, well, as, as well, anybody that's traversing through these roads, we try to avoid um, piles of, or fresh piles of dung, or dung that looks like it would have uh, any insect or any sort of activity in there. Um, since obviously looking after the little things. Ooh. Sorry, one second. Sorry, uh, I'll just finish your question, Patty. Um, yes, we do tend to uh, avoid the uh, the piles of dung. It might not just be elephant, it might be uh, buffalo or any other any other herbivores really, because the dung beetles will like to use these as um, uh, food sources and also to obviously roll their bowls. Um, well, we do try and avoid them because there are certain species which are endangered. Um, so anything that we can do to help, really, we do avoid them. Um, especially me, I do try and avoid as many piles of, uh, of dung as possible. But uh, yeah, um, if we do find any dung beetles, or if I do find any dung beetles, um, obviously I don't think we might. There's that much of an opportunity to find that many today because it is quite cooler. They tend to uh, prefer to operate in slightly warmer temperatures than this. Uh, but if we do find some, I'll, uh, I'll, try and pick, I'll try and get one for you so we can uh, have a closer look at it for you. I've just seen some tracks, so if you just bear with me two seconds.
guys. I'm not sure if uh, I'll be able to pick it up too well. Let's have a bit of a zoom in on that. These are the tracks of Mr. Whiskers. These are line tracks. So it looks as though we've had some line action in this area. It's kind of roughly in the same sort of vicinity-ish of uh, where we were pre uh, last night when we finished up. Uh, but these tracks seem to follow the road down towards, uh, there is a dam down there. So we're going to have a look down there. And uh, we'll see what we can see and maybe be able to, uh, if, uh, if we're very fortunate, um, we'll still be down there. If not so fortunate, it won't be, but uh, hopefully we'll be able to find some tracks and continue to follow them. Interesting question from uh, I think it was, uh, it was either Laney or Lenny in Arizona asking, um, well, stating that there's, there's elephants and lions in Asia, and there's obviously tigers in Asia as well. Lenny, sorry, Lenny in Arizona. Um, she's also asking, she's asking why are there no tigers in Africa? That's a very good question. Um, so there's tons of lion tracks around here, lots of activity. Um, it's more probably to do with evolution uh, and animals evolving uh, to suit their environments um, more than anything. Uh, let me. Sorry, uh, stop. I'll finish the question, then I'll continue looking. Um, yeah, it's more probably to do with evolution uh, and the way that animals will uh, evolve to adapt to their surroundings. Um, ensuring that they can best utilize their, their environment to their, to their advantage. Um, I mean, perhaps um, perhaps thousands or hundreds of thousands of years ago, perhaps there were tigers in, uh, in, or a certain species of tiger in Africa. But tigers and lions, leopards, they're all kind of genetically related. They're all part of the greater cat family. Um, so I think it's more to do with the actual development of, um, of species into different into different niches which is probably the main reason why there are there are no tigers in africa uh, but getting back to these tracks there is quite a lot of uh, lion tracks toing and froing um, so we're going to have a quick look around um, and see what we can see we'll just drive around the corner first of all Majority of the